Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I would be explaining the topic Kurzbach equation and Grubler's criteria from the theory of machines or kinematics of machines. Before starting with the video if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. Also press the bell icon adjacent to that. Do follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. All the links are given in the description below. If you find this video helpful please press the like button. Do share the video on Facebook and other social media. If you want to study some topic or if you want me to make a video of that topic please suggest the topic in the comment section below. Also if you have any doubt feedback regarding this video this topic please also mention that in the comment section below. Now starting with the video Kurzbach equation and Grubler's criteria. Now Kurzbach was a scientist who gave a relation to find out the degree of freedom of a mechanism. Now first we have to understand what is the degree of freedom. So degree of freedom it is the it is the way or the number of ways by which any link can move. There are six total number of six maximum possible of degree of freedom that is three translation in the x y z direction and three rotation in the x y z and x y and z plane. So there are maximum 6 degrees of freedom. Now for a mechanism or for a link the maximum degree of freedom can be 6. But here for a complete mechanism which consists of many links the degree of freedom will be less than the less than number 6 because there will be some constraints applied on those links so as to form a mechanism. So degree of freedom is given by 6 minus number of constraint. Now Kurzbach was a scientist who discovered who formulated a formula to calculate the degree of freedom of the complete mechanism. Now the above formula 6 minus number of constraint is for a particular link. Now Kurzbach equation is for a particular mechanism that, that is the complete mechanism where f is equal to 3 into l minus 1 minus 2j minus h where f is the degree of freedom l is the number of links j is the number of joints h is the number of higher pair now grubler was a second scientist he utilized the kurzbach equation and gave his formulation that is he used the equation and he substituted degree of freedom is equal to 1 and higher pair is equal to 0 that is for a kinematic chain now putting the value of f equal to 1 and h is equal to 0 we get the relation 3l minus 2j minus 4 is equal to 0 now it is clear from this equation that the number of links l that should be even in order to satisfy the whole equation because 4 is even and 2 into number of joints whether number of joints are odd or even that would multiply by 2 so it will be even and 3 is odd so odd has to be multiplied with even in order to get even I hope I am clear so number of links L would be even not odd so minimum can be 2 but with 2 links you cannot form a chain so you minimum requirement of L that is number of links will be 4 this is many time asked in objective or this equation 3L minus 2J minus 4 equal to 0. So you can remember that or you can use the Kurzbach equation and put degree of freedom equal to 1 and H equal to 0 and you can get this equation. Also one objective equation comes that minimum number of links required that would be answer would be 4. So in the next video I would be explaining how to calculate degree of freedoms of many such uh, mechanisms and if you have found this video helpful please like the video share the video if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe my channel also watch my other videos many of the links are given in the description below please comment on the video like share and subscribe take care bye bye